Free Science Lessons Osmosis 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 is the movement of water molecules across a partially permeable membrane from a region of higher water concentration to a region of lower water concentration. A partially permeable membrane is just one with very small holes in it. So only small tiny molecules can pass through them and bigger molecules can't. The water molecules pass both ways through the membrane during osmosis. This happens because water molecules move about randomly all the time. But because there are more water molecules on one side than on the other, there's a steady net flow of water into the region with fewer water molecules. This means the stronger sugar solution gets more dilute. The water acts like it's trying to even up the concentration on either side of the membrane. Osmosis is a type of diffusion, passive movement of water particles from an area of higher water concentration to an area of low water concentration. You can observe the effect of sugar solutions on plant tissue. You can cut up a potato into identical cylinders and get some beakers with different sugar solutions in them. One should be pure water and another should be a very concentrated sugar solution. Then you can have a few others with concentrations in between. You measure the mass of the cylinders, then leave one cylinder in each beaker for 24 hours. Then you take them out, dry them with a paper towel and measure their masses again. If the cylinders have drawn in water by osmosis, they will have increased in mass and if water has been drawn out, they will have decreased in mass. You can calculate the percentage change in mass and then draw a graph to represent the data collected. The dependent variable is the mass of the potato and the independent variable is the concentration of the sugar solution. All other variables must be kept the same in each case or the experiment won't be a fair test. Like any experiment, you need to be aware of how errors may arise. Sometimes errors may occur when carrying out the method. For example, if some potato cylinders were not fully dried, the excess water would give a higher mass. You can reduce the effect of these errors by repeating the experiment and calculating a mean percentage change at each concentration. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.